Many of the problems at Holman are caused by overcrowding. When the prison opened in 1969, it was designed to hold 500 inmates. But the current population at Holman is over 1,000. Most prisons in Alabama are affected by the same problems. Prison reform is a hot topic right now in Montgomery, and lawmakers are using this latest attack as evidence for the need of change. News 5's Alan Carter has that story. Often successful politics has a lot to do with good timing. Look at this. Set the cue on fire, man. And the riots we saw this weekend in Atmore, as unfortunate as they were, had perfect timing. I think the crisis that occurred in the prison will help the legislation move this week. Senator Bill Hightower is a supporter of Governor Bentley's reform plan that would build four new prisons in Alabama. They'll be modern, they'll be safer, they'll be more efficient. It's an $800 million bond measure that would also close some prisons, but in doing so would hopefully address issues that may have led up to the Holman riot. Right now we have 24,000 prisoners um, in facilities built for 13,000, and so that's, that's a dangerous situation. Fellow Senator Rusty Glover is also on board and says in the long run, it'll save money. You can design a prison in such a way that where um, it will be cost efficient, that you know, when they were built in the late 60s or earlier, they were not cost efficient. The new type of prison will be uh, easier to guard more prisoners with the number of guards we have now. Right now, a bond measure to pay for the prisons is moving through committee, but could go before the full Senate for a vote as early as this week. Whenever a crisis like this occurs, it does give impetus and motion to a bill because this will solve the problem in some regards. It will take time. Uh, if this bond issue is passed, uh, it's the fall of 17 before construction begins, and it's a three-year process. So, uh, but we have to do it now rather than waiting later. In Mobile, Alan Carter, News 5. Now, there is some opposition to the governor's plan, mainly due to concern over what closing prisons would do to some communities and their jobs. However, no decision has been made on exactly which prisons would close.